everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm whipping up a nice lemon tart with a pecan butter cinnamon crust, which I think you're gonna love. I love it, I wanna share it with you, I can't wait. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Here's our ingredients for our crust. I've got some raw pecans here, some brown sugar, butter, ground cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. For our tart filling, we'll need three lemons. These should be organic, and we're gonna use the zest and the juice from these. We'll need three whole eggs and two egg whites, some butter, and some sugar. So preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna begin with our crust. So we're gonna take our pecans and we're gonna place them into a food processor, along with the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and a pinch of salt. And we're gonna blend that up a little bit and break it down so that it's nice and crumbly. Then we're gonna add our butter, but we melted it first. So go ahead and do that. And then just drizzle it in, scrape it out with a spatula so you get every last drop. And you're gonna mix that until, you know, it looks like wet sand. It's then we're gonna pour our mixture into, I have a nine inch pie plate here. Uh, you can use a, you know, any kind of dish that'll work in the oven. So you can see it kind of looks like sand. The consi consistency is, you know, just a little bit sticky, but not much. Then spread this out and press it into your plate. So we're gonna push that crust firmly into the pie plate and up the sides until it's nice and firm. So our pie crust is gonna go in the oven at 325 for somewhere between 12 and 14 minutes. So make sure you place this in the center, you know, of the oven. While our crust is cooking in the oven, it'll be done in just a couple of minutes, we gotta let it cool completely before we can add our lemon tart filling, okay? So that gives us plenty of time to make our filling. To start the tart filling, we're gonna place three whole eggs and two egg whites into my blender. Wait for it. There goes my egg yolk. Did you see that? It's not supposed to be in there. So use your shell and just take it out with the shell and it'll be easy to get out. So this is how it's supposed to be done. Just pour it right in your hand, it'll come right through. Then we're gonna take the sugar, the butter, and the lemon juice, and we're gonna place that into a saucepan. Now, the reason we're doing that is because we wanna dissolve that sugar up a little bit before we combine the two together, and that way it's not gonna be grainy for you. But when you do the lemons, make sure you use organic, first of all. Zest first, so I'm gonna go through and zest all three of my lemons into the pan before we juice them. It just makes it easier. So go ahead and roll your lemon, give it a good roll to release the juices, and then I'm using a reamer here to extract the juice. You're gonna wanna run your juice here through a strainer in case you get some seeds in it, because you don't want that in your tart filling. Now we wanna heat this up, not super boiling hot or anything like that, uh, just enough so that you can tell when you stir it that all the sugar has dissolved and of course the butter has too. But right now I can hear it, it just sounds a little grainy because it hasn't, the sugar hasn't dissolved yet. So just keep it going. All right, our sugar is dissolved. Now remember the eggs in the blender? Well, let's blend them up. Give them a little blend. And now I can just leave the lid on and pour it through the top here. Then you're gonna take your juice with the, lemon juice with the sugar, and we're gonna drizzle it in and blend it as we go. Now remember, it's not too hot. If it was really hot, then it would probably cook your eggs, and you don't wanna do that. So turn it on. We got it on kinda of low, and I just start pouring this in. Give it a nice mix. And then we're gonna pour this back into the saucepan. We're gonna take it over to the stove, and we're gonna cook it. We don't want it to boil now, we just want to cook it until we're going to use a wooden spoon and that wooden spoon is going to get coated on the back. I'll show you in just a second. All right, we're going to cook our egg mixture. You can see it's kind of foamy right now. That's going to change in a few minutes here as it cooks. But I have my temperature on medium low. I don't want this to boil. And I want to use a wooden spoon and that's my test. So when it gets cooked, it's going to thicken up and it's going to coat the back of this 
of the spoon real well. So you want to stir this pretty constantly. So now you can see how thick this got. And what I was saying earlier about the spoon, you take your finger and you see how the, the filling just stays right where I wiped it. That means it's done. So we'll turn the heat off. That took about five minutes. So we'll just pour this right into our pie. And if you're like me, you'll probably taste it out of the pan because it tastes yummy. All right, I'll leave a little in there for me to enjoy. And then you just want to smooth it out. And now, like I said, we're going to pop this in the oven, 325, for about 15 minutes. So when the lemon tart comes out of the oven after about 15 minutes or so, you're gonna to wanna to let it cool completely and then place it in the refrigerator to chill and firm up for probably two to three hours at a minimum. Overnight would probably be best. All right, so here's our pie after about four hours in the fridge. It's nice and firm, and I'm gonna try and serve it up. Hopefully it won't stick to the bottom of the pan and will come out nicely. That is definitely delicious, guys. There's that nice tartness, sweet tart thing. Definitely tart, definitely got that sweetness in there too. Love it. The crust with the pecans, they get toasted in the oven, which gives them more dimension and flavor. And it's got that little hint of cinnamon. So that's my lemon tart recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. It's super easy to make and it just comes together really quick and it is delicious. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button at the end of the video. It's right up here or there's a, a subscribe button down below the video along with that bell. And you know what that bell is, right? The bell tells you when new videos of mine come out every week, you'll be notified. So don't miss that. Please share the video. If you have any recipe requests, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you next time.